Now the kicker, that's Cameron Dicker, set to get us started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. To the air right away is Allen. Flushed out right. And complete right side to Cook. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in, and he's just got to throw this one away. Time with James Cook. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Allen going to go on fourth down. Eluding the pressure right. And it's going to be batted down. And will go the other way with the football. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense holds on the night's opening drive. zero and this is not the way to start a drive First and ten, Herbert. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Williams. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. A good pick 
up there, 22. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Here we go now on first and goal. Trying to punch it in with Eckler. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. Throw left side complete. That's Williams. Touchdown! Mike Williams on the touchdown throw from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Had the option there, read it perfectly, and an easy little touchdown toss. And it has to be a sharp throw, too, because of where they are on the field. The extra traffic, things are condensed near the goal line. Good route by the receiver as well. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. He's got a man complete. Look at the big man rumble. And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. Dawson Knox taking it in. And the Bills are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. But as he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole way. He certainly did. He wasn't taking off to go, right? When he was flush from the pocket, a lot of times you see him, eyes will drop, ball will get tucked, and he takes off, becomes a running back. But as you noted, stayed alive as a passer, tremendous body control, and a pretty good arm there, too. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. To the outside, that's complete to Williams. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. The 
this game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Williams being motion left. On first down, it's Herbert. Touchdown, Chargers! Mike Williams with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes the score 14-7. to Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out ready to send it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show up. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Give. This is Cook. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for a Bills first down. First and 10 at the 39 yard line. Again, it's Cook. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It'll be a nine-yard gain that time, and it'll also be the final play of this first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. They'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Now a give running right, it's Cook. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. Handoff comes to Cook, and this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. And now they'll throw with Allen. Left side caught by Diggs. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Pick 
That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. going to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Allen now looks to throw. And he's brought down. A sack and a turnover on downs. The Bills' drive stalls out on fourth down, and that will force a turnover on downs. now between the tackles and he'll work this forward for about three at second down not a huge carry there on first down but not all of them will be but still all in all a positive play for the offense it's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down a quick throw there out to Williams and they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds a first down there on a pickup of 25. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there, picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Herbert now. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw here, Herbert. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. Well, Brent, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. ready to go for their next drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. to the air on second down it's Allen and that is incomplete a lot of force bearing down on him there he could not hang on it's third down feels like they're getting caught in between 
between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Allen. To the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They'll try and throw for it here. Flushed out right. Oh, poor decision there, and it's going to be intercepted. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. From the 17 now, here's a first and 10. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Charles, he was looking for just a short throw, kept it in range for the rare linebacker pick six. And give him full credit for his focus. He just kept the quarterback in his sights and where he was looking to throw, he positioned himself perfectly to be there for the interception. He made the play of the game for his defense right there. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that is gonna tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You've got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the outbound offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Now it's Herbert. He's got it to Williams. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. To the air again, Herbert. And to find the open man, that's complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, big time credit, what a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down inside the five-yard line. The uh, Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. the middle with Eckler. 
And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Austin Eckler as the first half is winding down. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead is now 21-14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. Fighting his way through contact. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get out and talk about it. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. now on first down. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. 
Derwin James with a pick. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner, and they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Here's Herbert. He'll get this out right to Akron. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Herbert on first down now. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he has to get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short gain. On second down, here's Herbert. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. situation here. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. This one moves the chains. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. But boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I, I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. 
In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second down and six. Once more, here's Eckler. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Here's Herbert. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. the point where we're doing four minute offense yet but they've got to think about I'm not gonna say milking the clock but understanding clock management here on out is the 33 on third down. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. But he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down. But the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. Would have been a decently long field goal, 51 yards from here, but instead they're going to go for it. They snap it to Herbert. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, get and That's caught at the 25. They're all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Khalil Shakir, 62 yards. And the Bills have got it back to within a score. And this is no good. It's a missed extra point. Boy, in a tight game, how important might that turn out to be here as the second half rolls along? Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Charger drive about to get going. 
A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side of their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. Here we go on fourth, Herbert. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it, doesn't pan out, and the Bills are gonna take over in excellent field position. First down, and they're gonna throw with Allen. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball and field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now Cook running right. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. Three quarters in the box. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. They work now on second and nine. Uh, Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Second and nine. Here's Cook again. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. And now they're in the hurry up. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. James Cook taking it in from seven yards away. And the Bills have taken a fourth quarter lead. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. 
On first and ten, Herbert. Caught by Allen. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. Williams, the man in motion left. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. And it's third and five. This play to move the sticks. Herbert now. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Again, Herbert. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Back to throw here, Herbert. Looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. And he's going to be dropped quickly right there at the 48, a couple yards shy of midfield. Herbert with a connection to Allen for a Charger first down. They'll look to throw again. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Herbert back to the air. Take him down. The Bills get to him. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Looking to throw. Herbert. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away. Facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate. Fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Desperation time. And Allen's got it. And he is going to have the Chargers first down. And that was something else. A big pickup on fourth and long to give him a new set of downs. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner. And we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. This offense in good shape. Two timeouts and the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Give him another one right back to Allen. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. They'll come up first and ten here. Running on first down, Eckler. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Here's second down. 
Hey, go Lion, Lion, Lion. Herbert. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. Hey, Ray, 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 Ray. Herbert to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. And the Bills have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. 56, 56. They'll try and wind down some clock with Cook. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. Now Cook. And hard running is going to get him over the 40 to the 42. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you watch high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he will have a Bills first down, and that should be that. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half of the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to EA Sports.